Hello Makeup Void, I am the Makeup Schizophrenic and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the final wrap up of my Project Pans of 2021 and that is my Deck of Pans Project Pan finale. It's over and I'm not gonna lie, I forgot about this project this month. Totally, totally forgot about it. So I have some good things, um, I, I genuinely don't know. I don't even know if some of these projects products are still in this project pan. That's how separated my mind has been from everything. So before we get into that, hello, my name is Kayla. It is my goal on the internet to reduce the stigma against schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorder by talking about relatively normal things. Give this video a like and subscribe. I do upload th two to three times a week. a couple things honestly some of these things may have already been rolled out I don't genuinely know so we're just gonna go with this this first product which is the prompt the prettiest packaging and I went with the Aura Glow Lust my goal was to use this 10 times I did use this 10 times so when I put it away it just completely scratched my mind but this is definitely some incredibly pretty packaging I love how it looks on the skin I go over it every single time I talk about that product and it's just really good and I regret nothing buying it at the beginning of the year next product is also I met my goal on it is the Midas Cosmetics um, Dawn face palette this prompt was a brand I only own one of and my goal was to use this 20 times. I said it a million times. I went on vacation in November and this is what I brought along with me and so I definitely hit the goal. I think I might have even hit the goal before I went on vacation but again this is I think I put this in some of my favorite products of 2021 so it's it's really good. I thoroughly enjoy it. Next product um let's talk about this product. Uh this is the I I think it I don't even remember what the prompt was for this, but it's the Milani Keep It Full Plumping uh, Nourishing Lip Plumper and mine is in the shade Champagne. My goal is also used this 10 times. Funny fact about this product. In my whole collection Project Pan Finale, I thought this lip gloss was in that project. It wasn't. It was actually the Color Plop. Color Plop, Color Pop, Flexitarian Highlighter in the shade Flexitarian. My goal is to use this up. I got nowhere near close. I think I'm going to declutter it actually. That's a different story for another day, but I did use this 10 times. This product looks like concealer on my lips. If I don't have anything beneath it, but if I put a lip liner underneath this gloss, gloss. I can't talk. This gloss looks phenomenal and I really enjoy it. Um, I wasn't really a gloss person until this year and I'm slowly becoming one. I just brought a new gloss into my collection so now I have three lip glosses. I know that's incredibly a lot for me but I, I, I can say that I enjoyed it. A product that um, I think this next product was skincare and I chose the Formula 1006 Draw It All Out Skin Detoxing Peel Mask with the um, charcoal and plum in it. I, my goal is to use this 10 times. I think I only used it, do I have a county? I, I used this 7 times so my goal was either to use it 10 times or to use it up. And there's still product left in here but it's such a pain in the ass to get out because it's a peeling mask so it's just very very thick and it's a pain in the ass to get out so I'm actually going to just throw this away. It is relatively old in my collection and I don't like peel masks anymore. They do do quite a lot of damage on your skin and I'm more of a clay mask kind of person so I don't really see the need for this uh, mask in my collection anymore. I, I do enjoy it. That's actually the second tube I've gotten out of it and I I do like peel masks but I know how damaging they are on the skin. I'm more of a clean mask person. I literally just repeated myself. I'm not having the best of days. Let's just do a quick mental health update. My husband's out of town and it is very bad for me to be alone. It's increasingly, it's super unhealthy for me to do that and I don't think about it until I'm like in the moment having to deal with it and I just, it's a struggle. <laughs> it's a struggle so if my mood is really, if my energy is really low, I'm just struggling a lot right now but I'm just gonna get rid of that peel mask. It's just something I don't want to use anymore and then the product that I rolled in last month was a bronzer and I chose the ColourPop 
Um, press bronzer. This is in the shade Spectacle. It's probably discontinued because this is hella old. And I already have pan on it. So my goal was to expand the pan. I did not take a picture of this before uh, starting to work on it. But just you just have to trust me that I did expand the pan on this bronzer. Um, I used it a total of four times. Again, I was just trying to expand the pan. It didn't really take that long much to use it. And I still enjoy the bronzer. I'm still happy it's in my collection. I don't see myself decluttering it, at least in the near future. And that's it. This is a really short video. A lot of this deck of panning, Project Pan, has to do with selecting on new cards, but because it is the finale, I don't have to draw on new cards. I don't have to draw on repeat cards over and over again. So we're just gonna call it a day right now. And I'm really looking forward to this project kick starting back up again in January. Um, Emily Max did say that she was bringing this project back, which I am super excited for because it was such a joy. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm also looking forward to a month of genuinely forgetting about Project Pan because that's where my mind has been lately. It's just Project Panning what? I don't know. It's December. I give up. It's pretty much where my mind has been lately. So I do want to thank you guys so much again for watching. Give this video a like and subscribe and as always have joy.